schedule coming. Here we go. Woohoo! And we are live. I am Mad Frankie. This is Violet I got over here. And we are the Mad Scientists. And welcome to the channel. Woohoo! Yep, we'll we're all here for less, as much as we ever are. <laughs> yeah. We have we have look okay. at all the people here. We have Liz and Paul and Colleen and, and Sharon and Anne Lover and let's see, did I miss anybody? I think that's everybody. And Liz, Colleen, Sharon. I think Sharon was first of all, who's she? Yeah. She's working on her hot project. Oh. Okay. Right, well, I've been playing with this for the um, Botanical Journal, and um, I then fixed this one. You remember this one was sort of without this bit and didn't have that bit. and Yeah, so I fixed yep. it, so there's one. Um, I'm thinking some sort of little catch or something to go around it, or, or I don't know, really. I haven't quite figured that out. I've just got as far as that. So there you go. And with that one, let's do the similar with that one. I want them to be replaceable because I found one of these, this one. I've now put a bit of fern in this one, but I found it with the um, borage flower going really moldy and turning into jelly. So oh. I had to throw that one away. <laughs> so uh, I did think about putting a little bit of um, silica gel in there to keep it dry. And I might yet do that, but I think these are probably better if pressed, although the fern probably dries quite, quite well because it doesn't seem to be too bothered. And feathers obviously won't need much doing to them and seeds won't. But, uh, yeah, something to think about when you're put, making little things like that. Yeah. So that's that sorted, and I've just got to decide what I'm going to cover it with. And... While I'm thinking about that, or putting off thinking about that, let's have a look at what turned up. <laughs> Did you get the mail? I got some mail. I got oh. mail. Oh, it's got my name on it. It's got someone else's name on it, too. Someone <laughs> who sent it. it. Is that focused? Just almost focused. Anyway, it's, it's bigger on this side. Okay. <laughs> so well, I've opened it, but only in as much as I've split it across the top. Nothing has come out yet. So uh, let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, she came to yet. Let's see if she likes what she got. Just let's a little. see. Oh, look, look, it's a little fern, a feather or a fern. Lovely, isn't that sweet? There we go. Oh, that's lovely. I and what can... else have we got? Oh, we've got these two here, two of these. They've got a bit flattened in the mail, so they'll have to be unflattened. <laughs> oh, nice. Lovely. Another one. And another one. I love this colour. It's my tealy sort of colour. Mm -hmm. now, it looks blue on my camera, but I swear you, it's it's a greeny teal. Honest, it is. Hi, Debsy. Oh, another one, another feather in that color. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Is it a feather, or 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 am I mistaken there? Well, I was just I don't know. I was just like doodling with thread, so I guess mm. I was just, it's it's, it's a feather doodle. Oh, look, look, look at that. <laughs> oh wow that's a biggie that is that's bigger than i thought it would be i thought it was going to be sort of about half the size <laughs> i wanted it to oh, be no. all the copper color and i couldn't find enough that really did the no. very disappointed so. Lovely. but i thought mm. black would be you now you can do oh, whatever you want no with it that's the one you chose. That's for the cake to go on. That's the one for the cake to go on. What we got here? We have got, oh, look. Ooh. Said you like There's me one. trying to pin around the camera, you see. Like, going, ooh, I'm almost under here. 
Look at that little bee there. Beautiful work. Lovely. Hi, Trish. And then what else we got here? Where's oh, another one? Look, look, there's something else. Ooh, look at that. Oh, pink. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to she's trying to wean me off not liking pink. <laughs> what we got? Oh, look at this. Isn't that fantastic? Test one. I've got test one, everybody. <laughs> Wait, just let's play that. Test test one. No way. T E S T one. Wow. I'll just have scrappy <laughs> around and my doodle on them. Uh-huh. Huh. Well, that one I, I wouldn't have seen it, but it's typing, you see, so it, it contrasted. I'll be darned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love these doodles. Uh, I think that that's reminiscent of a poppy, that one. The poppy uh, seed head. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The pod, yes. Yeah, the pod. And that's right. sort of reminiscent of um, allium flowers. Oh, yes. Now that you say mm -hmm. that, none of that is in my mind when I'm making them. I'm no, 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 of course not. And that's the little snaily creature or sluggy creature climbing up. Nope. And that's somebody's, uh, uh, that's a little pixie's elf shoe that he's left behind. <laughs> I love the world you live in. <laughs> oh, it's all pretty weird. Well, it's <laughs> lovely. Right. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you so much. Oh, look, look. There's a bonnet plant. It grows little bonnets for elves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Oh, look, there's even a, a street light there. Look <laughs> at that. They've even got a little street light lit up. <laughs> right, honey. Oh, thank you so much. There's, there's so much lovely things here. But that's definitely going on the hat, that one. Oh, very cool. Going on the hat. That's what it's for. That Look, it's even got a, a, a thing to keep the, the tea warm. Yeah, the white one there is the one when I was showing them all the other day. You said, oh, I like that one. I really like that one. So I, uh -huh. I put it aside for you. That's the one you said. You probably don't Lovely. remember now. You liked them all. Well, yeah, there is that. <laughs> yeah, I'm easy. I like anything. <laughs> there we go. I must gently put it back in its little envelope. Uh, no pain. Well, you can get paint on it. I don't care. That'll just make it look No, better. I don't want to get paint on it. Oh, no. It's going on my hat. I don't want a painty one. I want a, a proper fresh one. Hi, Abby. Right, so that's all that lot. I could sit here and do some painting of my nice little mushrooms. They're off camera. Could do that. I could do that. Or I can have a look and see what's in this little envelope here. Oh, you got another one. Oh. It's um, it's an envelope that had something or other in it. Who knows what? And I thought I'll use that to put everything in because it's difficult to keep it all together. Uh huh. And so, it comes. Camera, pull your camera back a little bit so we can get a better view of everything. There you go. There you go. There you go. So this is one by Kerry the Crafter, and it is the whimsical what not doodle shapes, which are in here. Oh. And I've also got, now I don't know if we're going to be able to get through all of these today, but I've also got The Hair and I, the Moon, which is by Paula King. And there's and the, and the carries if, if anybody wants it. Paula yeah, is, this is a lovely one. Yeah. And then there's The Rune Blocks by Paula King, oh, which I've wanted oh. for ages and ages. And then there's Judy P's wonderful light bulbs, which I think is just so great. I was really sort of urged into getting these by something Mariah said and something somebody said on the stream last time. 
Uh, they said something about putting a hairy violet in a bulb. So there we go, bulbs to put hairy violets in. <laughs> and then the last one for this go are these absolutely fabulous, what they called, they're called funky mushrooms galore. And I think they are very funky. They're, they're quite sort of 60s vibe psychedelica, yep. aren't they? I mean. Very much like that. I will have such fun playing with these, but um, I don't know that I'm going to have a chance to do all of them today. So there's so Judy's what we'll do. Uh, YouTube channel, and then here's Darcy's YouTube channel. So all three of them, but poor Paula doesn't have a YouTube channel. To well, I think in that case, the best thing we can do, much though I'd really like to play with Gary's, I think the best thing to do is to look at Paula Keene's first. Don't you think? Besides, her stuff is good anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> I get some bit out of all of it. So let's see. We've got the the masks, the um, biggie dune thingies. Yep. Mariah <gasps> says rune block. Not dune. What do I say dune for? Rune blocks. I got them in different sizes here. And just so everyone knows, if you look over in the description uh, under uh, today's for today's stream, if you look over there underneath the video, you'll see the links to all of PM Ida Studio, the shop, their YouTube channel, their Instagram and their Etsy shop. If you wanted to go that way. Um, so we have all those links available. So I'm just fishing out all these things. So they're going to be all wound up together, which is all my fault. Because I did that. Hairs galore. Loads of hairs. And a lot of other things as well, but loads of hairs. And right, Mariah. Yeah. Mariah. And a moon. Full length buffet. Mm -hmm. And another hair head. And what's that? What's that? Oh, no, that's, that's for later. It bothers me, Mariah, that I put the links in the chat, and then a lot of times replayers come back, but they don't come back to watch the chat. They come back to see the, the video. So I, I want the channel links to be available, available. outside the chat. So they're going to be, if when we remember, and we're going to try to remember, every video, every broadcast from now on, they're always going to be down there. She's putting pressure on me, the person with no memory. Yeah, well, you know, you're gonna have to have a, a somebody talking to me every time. Every time, yep. I gotta yeah. remind you to. And what we can do is, I could just log in and do it myself. But um, I like it. You do the description. Uh huh. So it's just you know, while you're there. Oh wait a minute! One more, and another moon. There's a lot of moons here. I got a lot of moons, but we'll do some prettios of them. Are you going to do some layers? Do you think? Oh, I don't know. We're going to have to see what happens. Oh, I found another moon in amongst some light bulbs. There is another moon. What's that? Is that a big hair? Oh, look, we've got a really, really big hair. <laughs> yes, Grant's over there mooning. Yeah, well, no, no. <laughs> None of that. It's not warm enough yet. Oh, really? <laughs> That's what we're waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> you might be, I'm not. <laughs> now then. Let's do some of these, shall we? We've got Rabbit and Hair by Paula Keene. And we've got the rune blocks. I love those rune blocks. They are wonderful. So tell us how you feel about the rune blocks. They're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't be nasty. <laughs> what? I'm not nasty. I'm plastic, not nasty. No, no, no. <laughs> So we'll put those over there for now. 
And we will do it that. It won't fall down. Mariah says you don't have to add the uh, PMR to Studio links every time. You can make a standard default description. So you can put that in there and then uh, personalize it before you go on each time. That's the thing, Mariah. She has to go in there and do the description every stream for whatever's going on because she never knows. Um, we, before we start playing with these, we've got some pulls. So I'm just going to take my headset off to go and fetch the pulls. They're over there being safe. Okay. Hang on. Okay. 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 Yeah, enter to the troops. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't have it. I don't know if I... Okay, I'll just show my little... All I got is a little bitty, tiny, mini stapler. Look at it. These are just a little panda biter. That's all I got. I got nothing. To, oh, I got a new... I got two new rocks. Look at my new rocks. <laughs> She's back. We will leave. <laughs> now, I've pulled this one. This is the one that's really not got much left on it. It's just really a background at the moment. And I said I would be doing other things on that. Yeah. And you could do almost, almost anything on that. Might even do the room blocks on that one. So that's that one, which is all ready to go now. Lovely. Is that what they are? Heavy? Yeah, this perfect. is quite a pale one. If you remember, it was the one with some um, iridescent blue on it. And with some of this here green, fluorescent green showing through. So let's pull that one and see what that does. Let's have a look. Don't know how much of this is going to come up. It's the same bluey grey as the other one. I like these colours. Oh yeah, it was the country folk blue, country uh, blue. Yep. Well, okay. It's just called blue grey, actually. It's just um, but... Violet's idea that it's country blue. Oh, I said. Um... Down oh yes now look look we've got a sort of iridescent blue halo around each one look can yes. you see that i can very nice it's quite delicate it's not in your face but it's it's really nice you could see that on on the front of some journal cover or other that would look really great yep and I think that's that's mum, isn't it? Is that mum? No, oh, that's mum. There's grandma. There's granddad. I think that must be dad. And that's one of the children. And that's another one of grumpy old mum. She gets in of it. Oh, that's the baby. The other, the other, um, the girl, the boy, the girl, mum. That's it. So there we go. I mean, she does show up really nice with this little halo of, of blue. You're up, Lovely. You're up. You're, you're Oops, sorry about the, the... You'll want to pull the camera back a bit when you start uh, gelling. Uh -huh. Well, yet. let me turn this up yeah, so that it's not fine. shining on the screen. Yeah, you're fine for now. And you can see that we've got the undersea stuff here. We've got urchin. We've got uh, a semi... No, no, this is one of um, Pinamati's doodles with the swirls. That's And we've great. got, the, oh, is it? Oh, I beg your pardon. There you go. You can see it, just see it there. And there's mugwort in the background. That probably won't come off. That's left on the plate. Right. And we've got the raven here. We've got two nautiloids and two four more nautiluses there and the urchin flower so let's see how much of this is going to come up let us find out oh. a little bit's been left behind and we're not as i say we're not getting the words off so we'll give this one a, a clean before we do anything so we've got a nice clean yeah. plate you're not the camera. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. It's a bit close. I know. 
Is that a bit better? Yeah. It's so awkward for you to try to work with that right there. There you go. Oh, that's left Hello. some bits. There. Oh, well, never mind. It doesn't really retract much. No, it doesn't. I was thinking to put it back down, but no, it's not really that much of a bother. It's quite a nice little sort of... It gives the uh, fluorescence of the blue. Can you see how that fluorescence flashes on the black paper? <laughs> oh, look at all those. I, I've got lots of lovely bubbles I'm um, selling in the fluorescence. Do you it's see that? Can you just see that? I see the bubbles. It's, it's like sand. It looks like it's gritty. It's, oh, it's almost like bubbles in the water, isn't it? Because these are water things. That's apart from the raven, who's obviously dead. Because <laughs> he's underwater. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so let's clean this up. That was lovely. I, I like that one. Let's clean this up and we can get rid of all that stuff now. Uh, Will the graphite come up on the tape? I don't know. We could try the tape alone first. Just to see if it will find out. I took a uh, baby old nope. to get it cleaned up. No, it okay. doesn't. It doesn't come up with that. Yeah, it's more like a stain. Yeah, but it comes up with the baby oil, which is what I've got right yeah. here. Patricia's here. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Patricia. She said, "Good one, Fran." Not too bad, eh? Not too bad. Yeah, Just let me get that. Bit. And then I'll get the rest off with with the oil. There we are. That's enough. I'll just wrap that back around there instead of having to do anything with it. I've now got a lovely <laughs> tape with images on it. <laughs> Let's have a go. Whoa. I watched somebody, um, oh, Art Whisperer on, on YouTube, I think it was. Um, he massaged it. I mean, he looked like he was enjoying himself too much. So he, he added <laughs> his hands and just massaged it in. And, uh, and then he used a uh, microfiber cloth, let it set for a, a minute or two, and then he used a microfiber cloth to wipe it off, the excess. Did a really good <laughs> job. Yeah, I like really to, uh, that off. Who was it uh, that Fran mentioned? Some Oh, Kirsten. She was watching Kirsten, uh, Quirky Queens. And yes, I want to have a go at what she did, but there isn't time today. Yeah. And, and I'm running out of time on, on StreamYard, so I've got to be – it's only going to be an hour's worth today, I hope. So I've only got half an hour to go. <laughs> well, Let's anyway, I was watching Kirsten, Quirky Queens. Quirky Queens, Kirsten, and uh, checking out her other videos and whatnot, and she was inspired by Art Whisperer. Um, oh, right. So I thought, well, I'll go over there and check. What, we're not Gabby, Paula? <laughs> um, anyway, I saw... Us? Oh, Fabby, not Gabby. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, that sounds better. Um, I'm not sure. I'd like to be Fabby. <laughs> well, it's not flabby. <laughs> I'm flabby anyway. There's right. nothing much I can do oh, about that. Totally off topic here. <laughs> I got to reel you in. But anyway, Sorry. he massaged it really well, and it, he did a good job. So I thought, well, that's what I need to do. So I did, and it worked out quite nice. Cleaned my plate up quite nice, and apparently it needed it. I've got a feeling that I should have taken more off with the sellotape first because I've got a feeling that won't come up with the sellotape now it's got oil on it. Flip it over uh, you. Oh, again with another one of these. Sorry? Flip Flip it over the other side. Hmm. I've got a nasty feeling the other side's already needing some TLC. Could be. Yeah. I'm, some I'm not flabby, I'm fluffy. Oh. As long as you're not flippity flop and jumpkins. No. I'm just storing up for winter. 
Okay. <laughs> Do you know what Flippity Flop and Jumpkins is? Yeah, it's supposed to smell Monday. Do you know what Flippity Flop and Jumpkins is? No, please tell me. <laughs> Tiddlywinks. It's what they used to be called. It used to be called. That'll do. That's enough. I can't be bothered anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's get on to the good stuff, oh, no. which is Roonies. So we've got a Biggie Rooney. I thought there were three Biggie Roonies. I'm not sure what happened with the other ones. So I seem to have uh, two Roonies. That one. Maybe it's only two. <laughs> do, do, do. This one could go a bit further over there. Apologies. So that's going to fill it nicely. They are gorgeous designs. I love them yeah, so much. A... No, it's definitely got to go that way. I love runes. Rune markings. That way around. Do it that way around because then we've got both ends. Good. Okay. Let's have some lovely colour. So we'll start with the green grey. Um, Hi, Udo. No, we won't. No, we won't. Baby oil to uh, clean her gel plate and conditions it at the same time, which is lovely extra. Yeah. So, put this down on the floor so I can get at the paints. And we've got, let's try a bit of iridescent copper pine. I'm going to just move this because we don't want to get stuff on that. It's going into a journal. And look what else I got just before we go. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Day is beautiful. Little copper tubes. And they're so nice. They're meant to be for uh, their fishing cramps. Clumps, clumps, clasps, whatever. I just thought little tiny copper tubes. Lovely. I got um, some eye pins from a jewelry site, and they're very um, chintzy. They're very um, delicate. And I wanted something a little stronger to hold up for journal charms and stuff. So I went into the fishing section, and if you were a fly fisherman, you look for these eye pins that are longer and stronger, and they work better. Wow, that's that's efficient. That's some copper there. Oh yes, we want some copper there. Look at all that hazing that's happening because of the oil I put on. Yep. <laughs> Hurry up before it hazes away. Yep, I, I'm I'm doing it. I'm doing it. That one. That one. And that one. Okay. All right. What have I done with that? Oh, there it is. It's sideways. That's why I can't see it. You know, I didn't compare, Deb. Um, they may have been. They may have been. Um, look on Amazon. I, I got mine from Amazon. Yes. <sighs> and feathers. And um, that's not all. Oh, my God. Let's see, what else did I get? Using the edges on the copper. Getting little edges. I'm deliberately turning the paper so I get different marks. <laughs> and now then, let's just go right in. Make sure we get as much as we can. Oh. Zebski, I also got these. If you wanted to, if you like making journal jang dangles and stuff, these are things for lures, to make fishing lures. Right. I'm going to put oh, some wait, more on here. Yeah. Oh, she's not done yet. I'm going to put some more on there because I want a double dose at least of the copper because I want to make sure that the copper is going to be really happy. And they've already got a swivel on them. Oh, I got some that had swivels on. Yeah. I didn't know what, or what I was supposed to do with them, but I was, <laughs> I like the bits on the end. Oh, 
So yeah, I thought, I think I got these from Amazon. And then I got these, which are, um, twist them. My hands aren't working right well today. Um, twist them. This is the same one. It's going to be offset slightly. And now, but anyway, you twist it and it comes apart. Right? So these are great. These are strong wires. I got to see what she did. Oh, it's nothing much. It's just pulling I, it up. Yeah. That's all. Right. Okay. Right. So we'll leave that down. And now we start with something dark. What should we do? Let's do something really, really dark. Dark magenta, dark. Uh... See, this is what happens. My hands won't work today. But the, these things unscrew, and then you can put dangles or whatever on there. They're really nice. And they were, came out of the fishing section, and I forget what they're used for. But if you wanted, if you like making uh, journal dangles or anything like that, yeah, I think outside the box, especially these. These are beautiful. And then the head pins I got, friend, friend went off. They're, well, well, I'm here. I'm here. I can see you. Longer, they're longer and stronger. Oh, I don't know if you could see those. And then the, the head pin part is bigger. So, yep, go to the fishing department. I might have to, might have to look in the dungeon to yeah, get we'll, it really close. Yeah, we'll come back. We'll come back later. Um, Come back on screen. Where am I? Gone. There you are. I'm still here, really. Yeah. Anyway. Right, I'm doing some different colors. I've got black, uh, I've got Payne's gray, I've got sailor blue, red shade, and I'm gonna have a little bit of the violet. No, I'm not. I think I'll do the phosphorescent, phosphorescent green. See what happens with that. Yes, why not? Yeah, great for tag journals, Uda. Um, I got mine on Amazon, and oh, I may have gotten something from Timu, but I don't recall ordering fishing stuff from Timu. Oh, look at those colors, Paula! Beautiful colors. I'm going nutty. I'm going nutty over you. There you go. And Cabela is, uh, uh, yeah, Dick's Sporting Goods. Fresh meat. Is it, it, do you live near uh, uh, fishing places, bait shops? Go to the local bait shop. Oh, I've got two sheets. We only need one. Hi, Teresa. You're probably going to have to back out the camera. You've got the big... Uh, Oh, I have, haven't I? Sorry. Just yeah. let me soak this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let me get this higher up. There you go. You can see it's about the yeah. whole plate now. Now, where's my blue thingy? There we are. Now, if we're lucky, we'll get one of those things that. Oh, oh wow. that, that's picked that up already. Let's put that back down where it should be. It shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Shows what's underneath. Oh. Paula, what are you going to look at? What's underneath it? No. <laughs> but that's nice. Let's have a look at the back of that one. I'm not trying to probably that get one. another gentle pull off. I can get a bit more off. Cassie, if you read my mind. You've gone quiet. No, I'm here. You're just, when, with the headphones on, you have trouble hearing me. I've turned my sound up. Let me turn it up on there as well. There you go. Don't forget, yeah, don't forget the headphone sound thingy. Well, I don't know if I've got the headphone sound or not there, but something. I you just you went have... really quiet all of a sudden. The other day you couldn't hear me well, and it turned out to be the volume on the headset. I already tried that. I remembered uh, that. 
Oh, look. Oh, I'm liking that. Look at that. That's the second pull off that. <gasps> lovely. Look at the lovely patterns that these gorgeous stencils make. Oh, I knew this was a good choice. I knew it was a good choice. Well done, Paula. <laughs> Beautiful stencils. Absolutely lovely. So I think I'm going to go and do my my favorite thing. Okay. Is she looking about vaguely for her? No, not that one. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Come on, my nice little colours. You've got 25 minutes left. Okay. Yeah, it's so everyone knows today's going to be a short day because France, um, we've used up the time mm. that we realized for the month. So um, it'll be a short day broadcast today yeah, we just well. really wanted to show these stencils these are so good i'll probably have to do these stencils in two goes you know right you'll you'll do some more monday probably yeah exactly we're that's what yet. i meant we're, we're not done yet we're we're gonna play more well let's try some quinacridone nicolazo gold shall we transparent iridescent oh it must be this one Quinacridone, Nicolazo Gold. Here we go. I was hoping to find the um, Titan Green Pearl, but it seems to run away. Probably getting exhausted <laughs> from all the work I get putting it through. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. I can already see it. Well, let's. Oh, wait a minute. There's something hiding behind there. Something else hiding there. What's that? Interference blue. Titan green pale. There we go. Way. So we'll have some Titan green pale. Yes. Oh, I got the parchment, by the way. In. Here we are. It's over there right itself. Never mind what size. It's that one. 118 mil liquid basics parchment. It's very nearly white. I mean, it's even more white than than some of these. Like, well, the other one I had was unbleached titanium, and it's lighter than that is. Look at it. Yeah, yeah. And I thought it was going to be more yellowish than that. I might mix some of this parchment with some Naples Yellow Deep and see what happens. Or maybe just Naples yellow, which is yellower, if you would believe it. Right, we'll have that. Let's have a bit of um, um, India yellow. Oh, I've got to take the tip off first. So everyone knows Art Adventures by Crafty Gal is Uda. Oh, Evie says she has the, she's been using the parchment. And she loves it for pulling. The parchment oh, colour, yeah. Yeah, I noticed you were using things like that and the um the green grey for pulling and they come up really nice. That's really why I got the green grey and the blue grey. Wow. This is gonna be a bit a bit like sand or monuments in the desert or something. Let's not mix it up too much. <sighs> Hang on. Hi Turtle. Belinda being knocked over another piece of paper here we go i am finding i'm sorry if this is squeaking a lot i wish it didn't but it is really useful for getting those little balls get into all the little tiny spaces. So for getting into the little spaces, Mr. Squeaky is a good thing. And perhaps if I push really hard, it doesn't squeak so much. Not so hard that it damages the stencil or the plate. I don't think it'll do that. This is quite thick paper. It's uh, 160, do you is it? 140, sorry, nearly 140 GSM. Paula wants to know, do you have any, you're not using Carnival, so why no Carnival? 
I think I've run out. I've got to get some more. That's why. Oh, wow. I'm liking this. This is lovely. This looks as if it's some kind of um, secret map, doesn't it? Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Somewhere in there, they're telling you which pyramid to go to. <laughs> I would wear a shirt. I would wear a shirt like that. I would wear a tunic or a shirt, a top with those uh -huh. colors. Okay, Deb C wants you to review the colors that you laid out there. Okay, well, I put down, I already had some trace of the Thalo Boo red shade. And I put down, I think I put some more Thalo Boo. Green shade, red shade, sorry. And I put down the Quinecrodone Nicolazo gold. Yes. And I put down nickel, no, no, I put down India yellow hue. <coughs> and I put some of the Titan green pale down. So there's a nice little mixture going on there. Excuse now me. Now these are all golden. Yes. <coughs> I could I could have a go at using some of these, but I've only got a few limited colours and they're quite all in the same sort of range. What's the word I want? Hue? Uh spectrum. Tone. The same tone. The same tone. Okay. That's just gorgeous. So they even though they're different colours, <clears throat> they will sort of look at them. They they're really close in tone. There's not a lot of difference between them. There's not a lot of contrast between them. And you do need contrast for these sort of things. And there's some contrast in there. Could I? <coughs> I think I might have to um, mute for a second while I make a lot of noise. Okay, well, I'm going to get, even though I'm going to reiterate that the links for uh, PM Miter Studio are over there underneath our description so you can always find them and hopefully those will be there every broadcast from now on as long as she remembers to put them in but in the meantime if you can't um there's the link if you're right here in chat and you want it let's try some of this Go off piece a bit. <clears throat> we can be more specific. There's stencils, there's foam stamps, there's this, that, and the other. Such good stuff over there. Halo blue red shade. And <clears throat> and a little bit of fluorescent violet. <clears throat> be a little more specific. Um yeah, Paul uh, Patricia said that um She's mistiness is nice. She says, I'm going to remember that. Have some translucent white that might work. Um, there's the link to the shop specifically for these ruin. I quite stuff. like looking iridescent pearl fine as in place of a white because it's got a little bit of shine as well, which is quite nice. But yeah, the um the white is a good one. And I think that's half the time why I'm using Titan Green Pale because it's not quite white. Right. So I'm going to use here a little bit of the interference blue fine because we've got two shades that are on that sort of spectrum. If I'm using my words correctly, which I probably aren't. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Layers. Oh. <laughs> and don't forget with copper underneath. Hopefully a nice lot of copper. That was quite good when it lifted up by mistake, but that could mean it's now all seeping underneath right? with all the other colours. So it may not be such a good idea. We'll just have to wait and see. So probably Monday will, will showcase some of uh, the ones she has of Carrie's or, and or Darcy's. And uh, um, who, who else did you have? Judy's. Judy P. Judy P. I'm using A3 C White sketch paper, multimedia cartridge paper, 140 GSM. And I like this so much I bought another pack of it. So that, that's nearly 
that's getting really low down, but I've got another pack, so we're fine. <coughs> this is going to be a bit gloopy, this one, because I put a lot of paint on, and you know me. I'm always doing that, and the second lift is usually better. Yep. Well, Paula, you know she got the friends out what she could, and she got she wanted your runes so so badly, and she got them, and then she uh, got rabbit. Oh, it was a lovely design that one. I really wanted that. Yeah. Actually, um, I really wanted all the ones I've got here. <laughs> no. So, yeah. And I paid for them, so <laughs> I must have wanted them. Yeah. There we go. You've been drooling over them. That's no, nice. No. Oh, that's nice. nice. Now, there's being a lot of seepage under there. We're getting the blue under there quite a bit because it's so loose. Wow. That's nice. That's really nice. I mean, I've got the flippy bit off the edge here on the edge there as well. So it's practically filling the page, isn't it? Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And before we finish, I just want to pop this on. See if I get anything at all onto that grey sheet. <clears throat> the one that didn't have much on it. It was a remnant of the squares, the hatched squares that was on the gel plate. So let's see if we get anything at all off it. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> That is lovely. Okay, I have a question for you, but I'm drooling right now, so I'll... I'll, I'll... So am I. That's nice. I like that. Lovely. We've got that, that the runes in the background. We've got the hatching from lifting up the edges as well. That's really rather good. I like that. Nice. Sorry, you got a question? Yes, Anne would like to know what cartridge on the paper label refers to. If you go back to your paper, it says... Cartridge paper. It's a type of paper that isn't really up to um, watercolour paper, but it's got some thickness. It's 140 GSM. It's acid-free. I like it. I'm oh. using it to draw my uh, mushrooms, so I'm using it with watercolour as well. So hold, hold the phone. If you bring that back, to be specific, it, it may um, be this is recycled paper from. Yeah, made with cup cycling technology. Yes. Don't know what that means. Cups. So um, yeah. that might be part of what it's made with. Yeah, I don't know that we have any. In the UK, I don't yeah. know whether you can get it abroad, but it's handmade in the UK, Sea White. Yeah. I've used Sea White for some time. I reckon this cup cycling is new, but I've used Sea White papers of Brighton before, and they're quite a good company. So I don't, I don't know if we have anything comparable in in the United States. Um, yeah, let's and look and see what we've help. got underneath. I think we could do with a bit more richness. What can we do that could be rich? Don't want gold or anything like that. Buy a lottery ticket. Thanks, I did that. <laughs> it doesn't seem to work. It's not, not working. working. <laughs> yeah. How about a bit of permanent violet dark to get a bit more darkness in? I think throw some pink down. <laughs> well, you know what I'm going to say to that? <laughs> Fran. We're not I'm going to say, not on your Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> not a snowball's chance in that dark red place. <laughs> yeah, Evie says, well, Patricia says she wants those prayer wheels. And Evie says she wants to, uh, to pee. She wants to try pee shadow technique with the prayer wheels. I would like the prayer wheels as well. Yes, I think they'd go very well with these runes. Very well indeed. I'm going to add a little bit of the Titan Green Pale to this, just because I want to variegate it a bit before I pull anything. Wow. That'll make it more lavender. There we go. Will it? Okay. I, I 
What, 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 I'm just wondering because you put it on after the purple, you didn't blend it, so will it even matter? It looks good there, but it'll be backwards. Did I? No idea. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, I don't want it too pale, so there's a good chance I've got a bit of darkness still. Yeah. I just wanted to put a bit more color to seep under the edges, you know. Ten minutes. So if you go over, okay. so just, we just have to cut it short somewhere else, but ten minutes. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's make this the last one. No, you can do another one. Before we lift it, and then we can go into some hairs. I just have time for some okay. hairs. Hi, Marsha. Welcome, yeah. welcome. Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, Ooh, wow. look at that. Ah, well, yes, I think it's now is the time. Because <laughs> that was the... <laughs> It heard That's you. The thing. Yeah, it heard me. It thought, well, it's time to leave, folks. Let's go. <laughs> That's not bad, actually, under there, is it? Well, so the That's lovely. We'll leave that there. We'll put that aside to dry for a bit, and we'll get another plate. So, Colleen, did you see what was left on the plate? So that's because the paint seeped under the uh, even, even with a nice hold, the paint seeped under the stencils. Even with a nicely cleaned and conditioned plate, yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of layers you put on there, so you got to expect some seepage. Well, I'm not sure that that would work. How about let's put Payne's Gray down first? Interesting, Anne. Wow. Payne's Gray. I might have to get some more Payne's Gray. I guess. Use a fair bit of it. Anne says, the term cartridge refers to the history of the paper originally being used for making paper cartridges for early breech-loading firearms. Oh. It certainly feels absorbent. That's a lot of paint. 13 paint. Paula counted 13 paint colors. Uh-huh. Right, so let's get the hairs. Let's get some hairs. Hairs, we'll have that one. I love these, Paula. So these are also Paula's designs. Both sizes. I've got a small and I've got a, a smaller medium, I think it is. And there's Ella Rara or and the Black Rabbit. I'm not we'd sure love which. it if, if Paula had a uh, a YouTube channel to broadcast and showcase her doing, her using her uh, stencils. But since she does it, Fran is happy to step in and throw them down. I felt it deserved a bit more exposure. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> like I'm that. missing at least one moon, but I'm not sure I can get much more in here. Next week we'll we'll showcase Carrie's and Darcy's and Judy's. Oh, you're you're out of space. Yeah, but I can get one more moon in uh, somewhere. I think but over um, here. There you go. Here we go. I can't get the last little wabbit in. Poor wabbit. It's not a wabbit. It's a hair. So it's not even Ellerera. Where am I? Oh yes, down here. Let's get another sheet of paper. Paula says she's just done some boxing hairs. Is that rabbits that are filling boxes with goodies? I, I... They box each other when they're fighting for the right to mate with the females. Actually, sometimes they do say it's not actually that. It's actually uh, a male being a little bit too frisky with a female, and a female saying, push off, go on. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Anne says rabbits that work in an Amazon warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, Trish. These, these ruins are beautiful. The ruins and the, and the hairs. Terrific. Ruined, and they are lovely. And these yeah. are hairs and slightly off the edge. That's nice, though. That's a lovely print. Look at the gorgeous halo. Doesn't that make you think of the black rabbit of inlay? Yes. Superb. Right, let's have another one. 
And on this one, we'll put another layer of that down. So just a tiny bit of that, which is probably all coming up now. And some... Teresa, well, wow. Teresa, do a broadcast, do a video, do a stream. Let me know when you're going to do it. I'll watch for sure. I want to see how it's, uh, how you use it. Copper? No, really? Uh, interference blue fine copper and the remnants of the, um, Paint gray. <clears throat> so that's four? Three. Remnants of paint gray, copper, and the interference blue. See, this is why I don't do math. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> you do more math than I do. I go, is that a number? I'm not sure what to do with that. Well, I count. I don't necessarily do math. But I do have to count sometimes with stickers for crochet. I did calculus once. Once. <laughs> Somebody had to show me the formula before I knew what to do with it. It, it was memory again, you see. If they showed me the formula, explained how it worked, and immediately gave me a sum and left me to do it, I could do it. If they came back in half an hour and I've been thinking about something else, too late, gone. Those numbers aren't sticky enough. I don't have number sticky brain cells. That's three, Paula. I both my boys um, are oh. are is at math, or they were. They um they exceeded me. I home. Oh, look at that! Isn't that lovely? That's a very sort of moonlight night isn't it yes. isn't that very sort of moonlighty it's, it's the copper and the interference blue and that tiny remnant of uh of the paint's great ah where to go i couldn't do that again unless i did it a second go after paint's great uh, how long we go it's time isn't it you've got I'm very much afraid it's time you've got less than <clears throat> minutes what do you want to do again i want to pull this up and i'll cut you short somewhere else there isn't much else we can do at the moment, so I'll just pull this up. Um, oh, look at that beautiful wabbit. Sorry, hair. Now, wabbits are more fun than hairs. <laughs> hairs are more serious than rabbits. Did you know that? So these are serious hairs. <laughs> There's not so much underneath them. They've not been down for very long. Some of them have got something. So I'm going to put that aside and leave it okay and when we're thinking about that we'll have a look at the other one and see if there's anything we can do with that already so i will pull this up and put that down all right okay be dry enough yet no it's not dry enough it's coming up immediately yep. so that's gonna have to wait yep so um, we have to wait till monday everyone We'll I reckon that I will put something like parchment on it just to see what happens. Because I know that Paula was using uh, things like parchment, uh, well, not parchment itself, but a Liquitex Basics, yeah. like the green-gray. And I've got the green-gray and I've got the blue-gray. And I like the idea of trying the parchment on this one because there's a lot of colour here which will probably look best on a, a plain background, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, one that isn't going to interfere with what's going on. So I reckon that might work quite well. Let's see what we've got this side. Yes. Oh, wow. <coughs> I think it's going to work quite well. But I'll think about that when it's dried. Okay? Yes. <coughs> Sharon's right. These are brand new stencils. She's not used them before. So, mm -hmm. they, uh, yeah, they really went down nicely. They ain't new anymore. <laughs> cackle, cackle. So we're we have less than a minute. We're gonna say thank you, everyone. I'm coming back. I really don't want to lose the screen though. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm back. Uh, we're gonna thank everyone for being here. We're sorry it's short, but it, it 
happens. We get excited. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. We will see you all Monday for more. Um, we will do, uh, Fran will decide. It'll be Carrie's, Darcy's, or Judy's. We'll see who comes up next. Paula, excellent on the stencils. Excellent. Great detail. But all I can say is, whoever I choose to do next time is because I really like the stencils. Yes. <clears throat> That's why I got them. And I'm afraid I sort of spent sort of me allowance, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been wanting them. I know you've been wanting them. For I so have. I've been wanting them since this. And... Yeah. I've been wanting them almost since the designers started designing, since yep. they joined the group. So at some point, so, yeah. we don't have everybody. But, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for being here today and for the visit. And thank you, designers, for designing such lovely stencils. And this week for... Uh, Paula designing this gorgeous stencil. And um, I wanted to say thank you, Mariah, for making it so lovely. to get that. Cause making it possible, yes. Lovely. Yeah, look it, at him leaping. It made somebody very happy over there. There we go. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. It was a quickie today, so bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.